back the next morning and Route 9 is still closed. Hey, this is Will Buchanan. I'm walking all the way across the country to the New Hampshire seacoast in search of more freedom on a project called the Walk for Liberty. Today is December 13th, 2008, day 212. I've still encountered a down tree, but it looks like we can make it around. So instead of having a more or less straight shot across Route 9, we're having to go up Route 30 and then down Route 100. Which we were pretty sure were clear, although there have been some close calls. I'm on the road again after a day's delay due to the storm aftermath. Looks a little different than the last time I was here. Notice the ice on the power lines. It is quite remarkable. I've gotten back to where we had left our RV the last couple days during the ice storm. This rug was in the RV. And as you can see, it's completely frozen solid. Chris called me and said he's on his way out to offer his help as a second support vehicle driver. If you remember, he's the guy that had also come out to meet us a week or two ago. I'm not going to be taking Route 9 all the way to Brattleboro. In about 8 miles I'll be going on some back roads which are actually a shortcut. And I'm hoping that's before the closed off part of Route 9, so we don't have to deal with the cops. And whether or not they'd actually give their permission for me to walk through. And if nothing else, it'll be nice if I turn off Route 9 before the closed off part. Because then the support vehicles don't have to deal with the hassle of driving all the way around. I've gotten to the place where the road is closed. I'm gonna continue on and we'll see if I can get through or not. It's now the original time that I was supposed to be at the New Hampshire border today. Looks like there's a power or phone line down across the road. Brooke talked to the cops at the roadblock up ahead and they said, the road is closed, period. So I'm gonna have to go on a detour, which is gonna end up being about four miles longer. Wow, talk about scary. That's a tree branch hanging on a power line. Wow, 
that's glistening like crystal. Regarding when that cop told Brooke that the road was closed, no exceptions. If you own something, you certainly have the right to close it down. So that's the thing about the government owning the roads. Even though they don't own them legitimately, since they're often taken through eminent domain, or at the very least, because they're funded with stolen money, it doesn't matter. They certainly think they own them. And because they're the biggest gang and have a monopoly on force, what they say pretty much goes. And to top it off, as I talked about a few posts ago in my post about the veil of authority, everyone else pretty much agrees that they do own the roads. So it doesn't really matter that they don't own them legitimately. They can close them when they want and take their own sweet time fixing them. And the rest of us have no choice but to wait or take a detour. I can't pretend that I'm not disappointed that we weren't able to make our original arrival deadline to New Hampshire of today at 11 a.m. I was wanting there to be as big a gathering as possible at the border. Even though most might still show up, this has got to have affected some people's plans. And I know of more than a couple who won't be able to make it now. But on the other hand, maybe some now will be able to make the new arrival date. Whereas they weren't able to come today. And in any case, it's not as if I can do anything about it. The weather was what it was, and we're dealing with it as well as we can. And I'm just trying my best to make our new arrival time tomorrow, Sunday, December 14th at 11 a.m. Finally ended the detour that added about four miles and back on Route 9. Hop back there told me that Highway 9 is opening back up in mere minutes. It's weird. I'm so used to cops being gruff and stern that it almost takes me aback when they seem genuinely concerned for you. He told me to be careful when they started traffic back up again and he actually seemed concerned for my safety. Perhaps if cops were always like that rather than busting people for victimless crimes, then more people might like and respect them. I walked 23 and a half miles for liberty today. Here are my GPS coordinates. If you appreciate what we're you know what? I'm just so cold. I'm going to say this is Will Buchanan for the Walk for Liberty signing out. Mmm, cheese maple syrup. <laughs>